hello students so in this lecture we will talk about the another aspect of an equation uh, that is a uh, statistical or atomistic theory now the we know that there is a, a critical nucleus for an equation Now, if the size of the uh, critical nucleus uh, for metals, uh, as suggested by the capillary theory, we have first we have done uh, the capillary theory previously. And uh, from the capillary theory, uh, the we have also found the uh, size of the critical nucleus. And uh, the size is of atomic dimension. And uh, as it is in atomic dimension, it all involves few atoms. Now, at low, subs low substrate configuration. Go to a very low substrate temperature. Uh, or we can say at very high saturation. Very high uh, super saturation. The critical nucleus uh, is a single atom is actually a, a single atom which which forms a pair. The stability of, of the pair, uh, the stability of this pair is assumed to be a one bond per atom. Stability is assumed to be one one bond per atom. This is the parameter by which we will we are going to analyze the stability. Now, this is at low uh, substrate temperature. At uh, high substrate temperature, at high substrate temperature, the pair of atoms may no longer be in a stable cluster. So the the two pair, the, the two atoms that uh, we, uh, we talked about in a uh, low, uh, low substrate temperature got it as Ts. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is actually a, a cluster. But as we move to the high substrate temperature, this cluster is no longer stable. It's uh, no longer a stable cluster and the smallest stable cluster is the one that has a minimum of two uh, bonds per atom the smallest stable cluster Uh, it has to be uh, two bonds per atom. The 
one bond per atom as you obtained in uh, this one this has a one bond per atom and this is only valid if the temperature is low now the next stable cluster is one that has a minimum of two bonds per atom uh, as we have uh, told now the general expression of the nucleation rate of the critical nucleus uh, is if we have uh, n uh, star atoms for example then the nucleation rate expressed as the following expression and it is uh, i uh, equal to r a zero square n zero into r divided by Vn zero to the power n star into uh, an exponential term. So into exponential n star plus one. Q suffix ds minus Q t plus E n star divided by kt. We copy this and we take it to the next slide. somehow now I'm getting copied anyway, so so this this expression this expression here has got certain terms and uh, and this is with an increasing size the equation rate uh, the temperature increases so so uh, this is the Desorption energy. Mm, this is the critical radius AC2. This is our address number. So the terms have got their own uh, meaning. So the stability uh, there is a, a transition. So by stability, uh, we 
we mean there is a transition from n star to n star plus 1 in the atoms uh, atom cluster mm. atomic cluster so that means we can add one more atom to an existing cluster this is uh, the stability and this can happen uh, with uh, increasing substrate temperature For example, uh, if there is a transition between uh, a transition is taking place uh, from a two atom state to a three atom cluster, then the temperature at which this can occur is equal to minus q es resorption temperature uh, plus uh, half e3 the temperature of the energy of the cluster divided by k Nash and log Two by uh, V and O. And uh, people have done some Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo calculations as well, based upon random number. And to analyze the condensation process by manipulating above relative a few atoms. Uh, so this was the condensation process. Now the, the saturation uh, number uh, of degradation, there's an expression for that. And uh, so for uh, saturation, number of atoms which can be present is ns and it is expressed as uh, n0 exponential uh, minus q desorption minus q d the, the bonding bond energy divided by kt so that we will search uh, S is equal to N0 exponential uh, minus Q DS minus Q DY KT. And the statistics is attained after a detection period. So this is important. So this uh, steady state. is attained after an uh, induction period uh, which is the sum of the time necessary for right atoms to attain a population so which is a sum of the time uh, necessary for uh, add atoms to attain um, a population uh, in kinetic equilibrium. And 
this is uh, attained with the uh, vapor that means from where the, the atoms are being uh, from where uh, the, the source so these are the vapors and this when they fall to the substrate they are forming the clusters and so there is a kinetic equilibrium between the vapor uh, forming the equilibrium population of different size embryos so this is how this uh, steady state or this this value of saturation number of atoms is attained.